Welcome back to Queenie Connection. Thanks for joining us as we've got more coming up from the Probus Club here in Belleville and the Alzheimer's Society for the walk. But first joining us in person from the Queenie Ballet School of Canada based here in Belleville is the artistic director, Catherine Taylor. So Catherine, great to finally see you off of Zoom. It's nice. Thank you so much for having me. It's lovely to be here in person. So lots happening. On Thursday, May 18th, you had the Dancing with Parkinson's class. Yes. Walk us through that. Yes, that was our 200th class since the inception of the Dancing with Parkinson's program at the Quinty Ballet School. So we're very proud to celebrate that and we're very proud to have um, helped so many people through this program that have mobility issues and str struggle with Parkinson's. How long does that session typically run for in the year? Uh, basically it runs our school year. So when, the, when we're in session, pretty much Dancing with Parkinson's is in session and it's an hour long class that happens every Thursday morning. So let's go on to a couple of things. Dance of Spring, that's coming up June 3rd. Walk us through who's going to be a part of this one. Well, n Dance of Spring normally is, normally the school we have, because we have the two streams, we have the uh, Assembly Dance Program, which is our recreational dance, and we have our professional training program, which is the stream for the students that wish to study dance on a full-time basis. Um, normally we have two separate shows. But this year, because we're still coming back from COVID and our n enrollment numbers are a little low, we decided to join forces. And we were dancing all in one evening on June 3rd at 4 p.m. at the Centennial Secondary High School. And uh, we're going to make up for lost time. <laughs> we have a lot of dancing. It's going to be at least a two-hour show. And it'll be all the students from the Assembly Dance Program and the students from the Professional Training Program. You are going to see everything you can imagine from tap to point shoes to bare feet to running shoes hip-hop classical tutus and tights it's everything you can imagine so is there a specific theme to the show this year no nope, not a real theme uh, j j really the the dance of spring has always typically been a year-end performance for the, both streams of the school to demonstrate and display to their family friends um, what they've accomplished this year in their dance training and so it's an amalgamation of all of that. How can we all get tickets for that one? Oh that's easy you go on Eventbrite and you can see the whole layout of the auditorium and choose your tickets and buy right online and if you have any trouble with that then just get in touch with somebody in our office and we'll be sure to help you. Perfect. So that's June 3rd. We've got the Summer Dance Intensive in July. What does that entail? Well, it doesn't end at the Quinty Valley School. We are go ongoing madness. Um, yes, so July 3rd to the 21st, we have our Summer Dance Intensive, which is a three-week program for students who uh, really want to come and just, you know, uh, study extra in the summer, hone their skills. Of course, um, this is a, a program that most of, mostly you audition to get into. Um, and it's a time when we are looking at students for the professional training program for the school year. Um, so I always say that we're both auditioning. So the students are auditioning us to see if they like what we teach in the school and how we teach and the faculty and the surroundings. And then we are also seeing if they are a good fit for our program. How far away do you get students coming to this camp? Well, we have children coming from all over the Maritimes, Newfoundland and New Brunswick. Nova Scotia, PEI. We have some students this year have done the open registration, which is still available uh, from the United States. And we have students from all around Ontario, of course. I don't know if we have anybody from Western Canada this year. Yeah. What's the age range? Um, generally, they have to be going into grade six or at the earliest, preferably grade seven, and then grade 11 or 12 is fine yeah is there more of a split these days of those that identify as female or male or what's kind of the ratio in terms of enrollment yeah well, it's mostly female dominated but we are always looking for young guys and dance young boys and dance it's a great career <laughs> yeah so the summer dance camp, then that's next in August. What does that entail? Yeah, this is the first time we've done that. So it's, it's more affiliated with our assembly dance program, so our recreational program. And we just thought that we would try to do a, a four-day, half-day program for uh, young children, uh, four, four and up, four age, ages four and up. And, um, you know, it'll be a, a smattering of this, that, and the other. Lots of fun. I mean... A little bit of ballet, a little bit of tap, a little bit of jazz, some yoga, some paintings, some crafts, music. 
to have their lunch together, do some outdoor things, you know, maybe get sprayed with the hose. I don't know what they're going to do. They've got some crazy things planned. So I think it's going to be fun. Just a four day, Monday to Thursday. We thought we would not include a Friday as a lot of people like their Fridays mm -hmm. off in the summer. And uh, yes, it's the first time we're trying it. So uh, we hope that's going to really go well and there's um, time to register. So go ahead and register. Yeah, is there a cost? How can families register? Is there a deadline? Um, there's not a real deadline uh, right now. So that's, that's good. There might be if it gets too full. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you can go on the Quinty Valley School of Canada dot com um, for that information, or you can call us at our office. Um, that's all on our on our website. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. another thing on the website we see is kind of classes for adults and children. What's the situation like over the summer? Well, we will have that assembly uh, that assembly dance program uh, summer camp in August. Uh, in June, we've got quite a keen bunch of adult dancers and they wanted to continue a bit longer into June. So we have Adult Ballet with Allison yes. and I believe it's happening on Mondays. Again, double check our website for all of that. Our, our Facebook page as well will have lots of information about that. And it'll be evening, so after work, so easy for people to come. Yeah. One other thing we see is it, it takes a real community village to get all the dancers, whether it be education or kind of athletics. So what's the situation with, with the home state program, billet families? Well, yeah, it's just, you know, we've had, we have and we've had many great billet families, but, you know, after a while, sometimes they want to, they want to do something else. <laughs> they want to travel or whatever. So um, we're always on the lookout for home state families. And that's a very, very important part of the Quinty Valley School's success are the wonderful people that ho house our young dancers in the professional training program who need a home-like setting while they're studying dance from away from home. Um, we've had such wonderful stories about our homestay families and how they stayed connected even after the children have graduated and moved on and followed their careers gone to their weddings, gone to their children's, you know, baptisms, all sorts of things. So, you know, this connection never ends. It's wonderful. Yeah. What's the ideal candidate for a homestay family and what's kind of the, the vetting process in place? Well, there is a vetting process, you know, police check and vulnerable sector check and all that we go through and um, somebody will come to, to your home and see what you have available and how many, um, how many spaces you might have. Some people like to do two, some people like to do one, some people like to do three. It depends what everyone has and space, um, bathrooms and bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So I know, I, I think a lot of the kids like to share a, b a bedroom. They're young and they don't mind sharing a bedroom and maybe they have their own bathroom and maybe it's in a lower level of a home. Um, you know, they, they feed the children, they, would, they have meals with the family, they, they pack their lunches together, they, they help them, they drive them to and from uh, school and appointments if needed. Um, some people live within walking distance, you know. So there's, um, it's a, you know, a bit of a responsibility, but uh, dancers, these young dancers are so dedicated and so committed and so organized and incredibly good academic students too. So uh, they're kind of no problem children. They really are very focused on dancing. What has that taught you over the years, all these students? What has that taught you? Well, I, I've been a student of dance. Mm -hmm. I've studied dance since I was six. So it's been a lifelong passion for me and it's what I've done all my life and it's what I've always done. Um, so, I mean, every, I've done all different kinds of work in the dance industry. Um, running a ballet school is actually new for me. I mean, I'm 11 years in. Um, I guess I took my, my uh, experience from when I was in a dance school, you know, and what I kind of relive it and bring it back, you know. Um, I think with every, um, student with every group. There's different dynamics, there's different problems, there's different um, uniqueness things. So we, we kind of just go with the punches, roll the punches, see what that group is about that year and, and work with what we've got. Well, there's yeah. lots of exciting great stuff happening talent. at the Quinney Ballet School. Yeah, yeah, great talent in the school, fantastic. I mean, the show will just blow your socks off because the creativity and the, and the real talent that is here is just really quite amazing. Looking forward to it. Once again, mm. Catherine Taylor from the Quinney Ballet School of Canada. That show, Dance of Spring, happening June 3rd. And we'll see you shortly with another segment on Quinney Connection. <laughs>